It's Nerf Wars at the Youth Center. Kids getting in a little late summer fun as the school year approaches. More news for parents and kids as the school year preparations begin in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the Space Force's newest guardians. There's a community fair coming up and August is Anti-Terrorism Awareness Month. These stories and more, but first this week's installation town hall was the first one for new garrison commander, Colonel Michael Sapp. He spent the opening moments introducing himself to the community. Uh, but I want you to know that I love to connect to individuals, not just address groups. So I realize that time won't permit direct inter interactions with nearly as many people as I'd like, uh, but I will use every opportunity, such as these town halls, for you to understand me and where I'm coming from as a person and as a leader. In particular, you'll hear me speak often of communication, consideration, and connections. My aspiration is that these attributes will then be passed on from me through my staff and that you will see them play out in your daily interactions. There's much more with Colonel Sapp and the Town Hall. You can watch it in its entirety. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. In other news, the newest U.S. Space Force Guardians officially began operations as Detachment B of the 53rd Space Operations Squadron. The activation ceremony took place in recent ceremonies at the Potomac Place Neighborhood Center. Is this a new unit taking up residence at Fort Meade? Well, yes and no. It's of course the newest Space Force unit to be activated, but many of the personnel are made up of what was the Fort Meade detachment of the Army's 53rd Signal Battalion. This is a historic time in the Department of Defense. The stand-up of the Space Force in December of 2021, the activation of new units, and the transfer of, sail of soldiers, sailors, and Marines to the Space Force. On the 29th of June, we activated the 53rd Space Operations Squadron. And over the next two months, we will activate the remaining two wideband SATCOM operations centers. We're also transferring 271 soldiers from the 53rd Signal Battalion to the Space Force. Lieutenant Colonel Rogers presided over the ceremony, turning the reins of command over to Captain Stephen Gershey. Activating Detachment Bravo is a key critical step in consolidating all of military satellite communications functions under a single service and provide space combat power to our warfighters. The 53rd Space Operations Squadron operates the wideband global SATCOM and defense satellite communication systems. Eventually, the 53rd will have five Space Force detachments located at Fort Detrick, Maryland, Launchville, Germany, in Hawaii, Fort Buckner, Japan, and right here at Fort George G. Meade. Elsewhere, MWR and the Maryland Department of Labor are hosting the next community job fair Wednesday, September 14th from 10 a.m. to 2 at Club Meade. The fair is open to all job seekers. There will be a shuttle service running from the Army Reserve Center on Maryland 175 to Club Mead. For more information and a list of prospective employers, go to mead.armymwr.com. Meanwhile, it's mid-August, and that means it's back to school time. On August 24th, Colonel Sapp, Schools Liaison Officer Sarah Bonice, and Child and Youth Services Director Francisco Jameson will answer all your back-to-school questions on a special town hall. Meanwhile, I do have a couple of related back-to-school reminders for parents and students. First, registration for CYS Fall Sports is now open. They're offering cheer, soccer, flag football, tennis, and ready, set, run. The season starts August 29th. For more information, call CYS Sports at 301-677-5502. Fall sports also means annual sports physicals. Kimbrough is scheduling sports and school physicals now. You can call 301-677-8800. Remember to bring all school and sports forms with you to the clinic. And finally this week, August is Anti-Terrorism Awareness Month. Here's a brief message from Army Sustainment Command. August is Anti-Terrorism Awareness Month, and the Army has what is called I Watch Army Program. We soldiers, civilians, and contractors are asked to be observant. A simple observation, a single report, can lead to actions that may stop a terrorist attack. I Watch, I Report, I Keep Us Safe is a community program to help your workplace and neighborhoods stay safe from terrorist activities. You can report behaviors and activities that make you uncomfortable and do not look right. Suspicious behaviors. Your awareness and reporting to supervisor or law enforcement can help predict and prevent attacks before they happen. Remember, if you see something, say something. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.